Good morning, all of you, and welcome to this inaugural function. I have pleasure to invite to the dais for the morning function, uh, Professor Sukhatme, Professor Devan Khakkar, our director, and Professor Amita Sanyal, the head of the Computer Science and Engineering Department. Could you please come over, sir, so that I can formally welcome you? Thank you for coming. Thank you, Devan. Thank you. Please. I would also like to invite the lead faculty for this program, Professor Karmalkar of IIT Madras, who has come all the way from Chennai to join us. Professor Karmalkar. Thank you for coming. Let me very briefly introduce the dignitaries to you. I'll begin with the person whom we have requested to preside over today's function, Professor Sukhatme. Many of you would know him as a well-known researcher, but more than a researcher, he has been a great educationist. He has been with IIT Bombay for more years than I care to remember. After retirement, he was appointed as chairman of the Atomic Energy Regulatory Board. But he continues to engage with us. It is very rare not to see him at least three or four times in a week to come to his office. He still writes and he writes research papers. He was also, of course, the director of the institute and I had the privilege of serving under him as the first dean of resources. The number of changes that he made in the academic program and the focus that he tried to get for the research activities has been remarkable and has been sustained since then. Thank you very much, Professor Sukhatme, for joining us. Next to him is Professor Devan Khakkar, our director of IIT Bombay. Of course, before becoming the director, he was dean of faculty here. He has been a professor of chemical engineering, a very renowned researcher, and a dedicated educationist. He is continuing to make changes appropriately in the academic and research framework of the institute, providing more flexibility. He particularly encourages interdisciplinary activities. And under his leadership, in a short time, the institute has seen major activities reaching to fruition, such as flexibility in our undergraduate program, inclusion of a research agenda into newer areas, such as energy and nanotechnology. Thank you very much, Professor Kakkar, for joining us today. Next to him is Professor Amitabh Sanyal, a hardcore educationist and researcher, as you can see from his face, if, 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 a, a simpleton, but deeply passionate about research and education. He leads us in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And in fact, I jokingly say that he has the privilege of leading the largest group of rowdy computer science professors, about 40 of them. Uh, uh, under his leadership, the department has almost twice the faculty strength as any other computer science department in the country. He probably leads the leading researchers in computer science in the department. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Sandhyal, for joining us. We also have with us Professor Karmalkar. As I said, he is the lead faculty member who has come all the way from IIT Madras. A few years ago, we had invited him to talk to our research scholars, and he gave a series of lectures titled Introduction to Research. All of us liked them so much, our research scholars were extremely motivated and much better prepared after that series. We released those lectures in open source, but when we decided to do this course on Introduction to Research Methodologies, we thought that we must start with Introduction to Research, and we thought of a person no other than Dr. Karmarkar. Thank you very much, Dr. Karmarkar, for coming and sharing your thoughts with our people here. 
I would like to very briefly tell you about the train 1000 teachers programs. Many of you have participated in this. Many years ago in the institute when we started the distance education program, the idea was that we should be able to reach to many people who would otherwise desire to attend programs in IIT Bombay but cannot travel to IIT Bombay, cannot stay away from their places. We morphed this initial program which was meant for students, professionals and teachers into structured workshops for teachers. Under this program, teachers assemble at remote centers which have been pre-designated. At each remote center we have a workshop coordinator who is an expert in the subject that is going to be discussed. We first collect all the remote center coordinators to IIT Bombay and have a detailed oriental discussion which often lasts one week. Then the workshop coordinators go back, set up their labs, set up the tutorials, set up the experiments as required by the lead faculty here. When the main workshop starts, about 1000 teachers assemble at 30, 35 remote centers. The two-way lectures are transmitted through AVU, which is a product developed by a sister or a partner institution, Amruta University, through which we are talking to each other today. It permits interactive lectures and the afternoon tutorials and labs are conducted in the local remote centers under the supervision of workshop coordinators. We have found that this model works best in the sense that the top experts can be heard and listened to and can be interacted with to understand their ideas about the particular subject. But we still retain in this model the cohesive group work in a classroom such as the common tutorials, common discussion sessions and common lab sessions at a place. We have conducted 10 such workshops in the past empowering more than 11,000 teachers. Three months ago, when there was a review in MHRD, the then Secretary uh, Higher Education MHRD, Ms. Vibhapuri Das and Mr. Sina suggested that why don't you scale it up further. We told them that we had a plan for a mega workshop for 10,000 teachers in December, but we were advised to advance that to June. And that is why we decided to conduct this program here. Currently, this is merely a scaled model. Instead of 30 to 35 remote centers, we plan to have 200 remote centers. Sadly, due to the paucity of time, amongst large number of applications that we received, we could confirm only 168 remote centers from which we are conducting this program. There was an enrollment of about 12,000 teachers and PG students. We could not cater to them. We enrolled 9,000, but I understand that some teachers did not get the choice of the center that they had asked for and therefore they may not be able to attend. It is our endeavor to increase these number of centers first by another 200 before December and then to a total of 500 remote centers. In fact, it is our ambition that every town where there is an engineering college, there should be a remote center because the true benefit of using ICT in this manner is that people don't have to leave their place of residence and they can attend the workshop from wherever they stay, reducing cost, time and effort, uh, which is otherwise wasted in this process. We believe that this mega workshop, having more than 9,000 enrolled teaching participants, is first of its kind globally. We are very happy to do this experiment. Thanks to the support from the 168 remote centers, and thanks to the participation of all the large number of teachers and some postgraduate students who have come to attend this course. I will be speaking more to you about this workshop as also about the subsequent programs that we have in mind. We in fact look forward to greater collaboration not only with the remote center uh, faculty but also with the other faculty members from more than 2,000 colleges who have assembled here in future years to come. With that backdrop, I will now like to request my director, Professor Devan Khakkar, to share his thoughts with you. Professor Khakkar. A very warm 
virtual welcome to IIT Bombay to all of you. I must say that I am very glad to be part of this historic occasion when IIT Bombay connects with 8000 teachers and 1000 students all over the country. Over the last 54 years, IIT Bombay has built up strong capabilities in education and research. It has also built up a strong international reputation for excellence in these spheres of activities. Today, IIT Bombay has about 8000 students of which more than half are postgraduate students. We have 2000 PhD students on the rolls today, more than 500 faculty members and more than 3000 MTech students. So, in many ways research has become a very important focus and of course, our educational programs continue to be strong. Through workshops such as this one, the aim is to freely share best practices of the institute with teachers across the country. Our hope is that this type of exchange will accelerate the development of quality education throughout the country and also we hope that such kind of information transfer will benefit generation after generation of student in time to come. Sharing of knowledge with other colleges is, is in fact a part of the mission of the IITs as stated in the IIT Act. IIT Bombay has always participated in this kind of uh, workshop, teacher training and so forth over the years. We have had our quality improvement program for PhD and master students. We have had summer courses for teachers over the last 50 years. But what is now very unique is the availability of this national knowledge network. This is really an incredible resource which can have a huge multiplier effect. The thought of having 8000 people in one place is almost mind boggling. I cannot imagine that all 8000 or 9000 of you could have come to this campus, the kind of logistics involved, the kind of expense involved, your time involved would have been too great to make this feasible. As a result, in the past all courses have been about 30 to 50 students and this is a very slow way of diffusing knowledge. In this new mode, where we can instantaneously connect over the network has a great multiplier effect and we hope that many more such workshops and courses can be done, so that there is a close interchange between all between colleges amongst themselves and between IIT Bombay and all the colleges. Having been a teacher all my life, I think teaching is certainly the best job that one can have. In this kind of a job, you are always together with young people to help them prepare themselves and to inspire them to face the world. College teachers have an extra dimension which makes the job even more interesting and that extra dimension is research. Research, generation of new knowledge, scholarship, reading about new developments taking place enables us to renew ourselves to renew our knowledge, to keep abreast of the latest developments in the field 
and most importantly it actually helps us to build a spirit of inquiry in our own selves and in our students and this is becoming more and more important in today's student and in today's professional. I think this course on research methodology is thus most timely. We have some really outstanding people, Professor Sukhatme, Professor Karmakar, Professor Narona, Professor Sahana Murthy, many others who will essentially talk about how one should do research, what are some of the ways of maybe presenting the work and so forth. So, what is the nitty gritty that is involved and I think this will have a big impact, because in the time to come the importance of research is going to only increase. With these few words, I would like to wish you a very successful and enjoyable workshop. I know that it is going to be very intensive knowing Professor Fatak. So, you will have to work hard, but I am sure that you will enjoy it. Uh, before I actually step off the podium, I would like to read out a message from the Chairman Board of Governors of IIT Bombay, Dr. Anil Kakodkar, who is himself a renowned nuclear scientist. He unfortunately could not be here, we had invited him, but he could not be here because he is out of town and he requested that his message be read out to all of you. So, this is what he writes. I wish to congratulate you and the entire team involved in this major initiative of IIT Bombay aimed at reaching a large body of faculty and students at different locations in the country. This approach that enables a much wider access to an institution like IIT Bombay and its faculty using the power of ICT while retaining the strengths of face to face learning teaching is indeed the way to achieve the twin objective of quality improvement and scale up to meet education and training needs of our nation at all levels. As you are aware, I am keenly watching your efforts in taking Akash forward. Affordable low cost tablets that can effectively access education and knowledge resources besides being an effective learning tool by itself can make a huge positive impact on education and training particularly in rural and remote parts of the country. I do hope that the pilot experiment on school education using low cost wireless broadband last mile connectivity, low cost tablets and OERs in Marathi that we talked about would, would be in place soon. Technology enabled new paradigm in education and development that is learner centric enabler of lifelong learning and development oriented participation in an A3 connected society all inclusive and guided by wise counsel is something that all of us in institutions like IIT should work for. With best wishes for the success of your efforts and warm regards, Anil Kakotkar. Thank you very much, Professor Kakar, for those encouraging words. And I would also like to express my thanks to Dr. Kakorkar. Dr. Kakorkar has been keenly supporting all the initiatives that Professor Kakar and our leadership team has been taking. And as you could hear from his message, he himself, although he is a nuclear scientist and a great administrator, but he himself is a great educationist at heart. You might have heard a brief comment in his message about Akash and many of you may be wondering as to what Akash tablets have to do with this particular workshop. This is something which is known to 168 workshop coordinators, but is not known to the other teachers that ever since three months ago, we were transferred this project of Akash tablet, we have perceived 
a plan to work jointly with college teachers such as you and working with you using the Akash tablet in its future deployment is one of our objectives. I believe that honorable minister might have something to say about the Akash tablet as well when he addresses all of you on the inauguration of this workshop. Thank you, thank you very much. What a delight it is for me to be here with you all today. This is really, uh, for me, a very historic moment, and I'm sure for all those 10,000 teachers who are elected here, uh, a very historic moment indeed. Uh, uh, individuals can have dreams when the institutions have dreams, and in their delight, that's something that we need to be very proud of. And uh, I have to congratulate IIT Bombay uh, uh, for having uh, made this, uh, made us realize our dreams. Uh, as you know, that we all started the National Management and Education through ICT. Uh, this was a program uh, of the government of India. Uh, and our ministry was responsible to use ICT to spread education. And as you all know, education is fundamental to empowerment, uh, not just of our children, but of the community, because if we empower our children, uh, ultimately, uh, when they grow up, uh, they will be uh, citizens uh, who will be committed to the goals uh, of our nation, and in that process, uh, create a future for India uh, that we want uh, to embrace uh, as one of the leading powers of the world. And this but this cannot possibly be done uh, without uh, empowering our children through education. And uh, in the 21st century, uh, ICT is a very, very um, useful tool uh, to empower uh, our children. And, I, and I'm absolutely delighted that they want this year uh, before me uh, that uh, IIT Bombay started this uh, teacher training program of uh, teaching about a thousand teachers at one given point in time. Thousand teachers, uh, you know, at every given point in time. And I'm given to understand that all, already about um, 10 workshops have been held by IIT Bombay, and about 12,000 teachers have been uh, actually trained. Um, now, why, why is this important for us? It's important for us because there's a raging debate in our country. Uh, that the quality of students ultimately depend on the quality of teachers. Uh, and unless we empower our teachers, then naturally our children will not be able, will not be empowered because it's the quality teaching that ultimately brings about a quality student. And I've always believed uh, both as a politician, as an, an, as an academic, perhaps you don't know that I started my career as a teacher uh, in Delhi. Um, I know how important it is uh, to provide that inspiration uh, for the student community, uh, which can only be provided by leaders in the teaching community. Um, we are in the midst of, of a crisis, a crisis in which uh, the community believes and we believe that there are not enough teachers in the system, uh, not just not enough teachers, but not enough quality teachers in the system. Uh, and therefore, these kind of programs, uh, uh, provide the quality teachers uh, that we need. And uh, what what has been done today is something truly historic because instead of uh, conducting these workshops, um, training a thousand teachers at a time, you have taken this uh, enormous step and leap forward by by training 10,000 teachers in one go, which is really what, be a, what we are launching today. Uh, this, this is something that perhaps has never been done in the world, uh, and thanks uh, to the program by Amrita that they have devised um, through which uh, this, 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 this has been made to happen. And this, of course, this technology that Amrita has provided uh, allows uh, the student community and the teachers to be interactive. So it's really like sitting in one classroom, 10,000 teachers learning from each other. And I don't think that this kind of experiment has been done anywhere in the world. Uh, so in that sense, it's not, not only a leap forward, but it's an Indian solution to deal with the challenges that we confront. And, and I don't think that we can really look 
to the global community to provide solutions for us. We have to look inwards. We have to look at ourselves. We have to look at our problems. We have to address those problems, and we have to find solutions for those problems. So this is a very uniquely Indian solution for the problem of, 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 of bringing quality uh, into the teaching system um, by empowering our teaching community. So I once again congratulate uh, Amrita. I congratulate IIT, um, IIT Bombay uh, for having taken this forward. Uh, the other issue, which of course again is a symbol of Indian technology, uh, is the Akash. Uh, today we are going to symbolically hand over the Akash uh, to students, uh, and I have to particularly thank Professor Pathak uh, for uh, for taking this forward. Uh, the Akash, as you know, was launched sometimes way back in October uh, 2011, uh, uh, and unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, there was some delay in actually taking this project forward for reasons that I don't want to go into now. But three months ago, Professor Patak decided, uh, and I requested, we requested Professor Patak to take on this responsibility. And IIT Bombay uh, took on this responsibility, and in three months' time, there has been a sea change uh, in uh, the confidence, uh, in our confidence in the project, uh, and now, today, we are symbolically going to launch uh, the low-cost Akash device. Um, I have to also mention the fact that uh, not only uh, is this now Akash 2, which is the version 2 of Akash, where the processor is now uh, 800 megahertz, uh, the life of the battery has been increased, I believe, for three hours. Um, uh, and, of course, it has a, um, a, it has a um, capacitive screen. Uh, which is of much um, much greater quality. Uh, so the result is that this, this new version of Akash, uh, in a sense, is again is a step forward in fulfilling our dreams to be ultimately uh, be able to supply a tablet uh, to millions of our children, not just to our children, uh, not just to our student community uh, in technical institutions and in universities, but Akash will be a low-cost access device. Uh, for the public at large uh, to be able to deliver public services uh, to the citizens of this country. Uh, and these are the solutions that will ultimately change India. These are the solutions that will empower India. Imagine uh, a child holding an Akash. It is like the, the, you know, the child uh, 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 grasping the world in his hands uh, because he lacks access to anything that you want. And Professor Pathak is also, and his team, of course, has, has also developed some very unique uh, applications on the Akash. Akash is no longer uh, a, a, a device that consumes content uh, through the efforts of IIT Bombay. Akash is a device that creates content. Those contents have been, that content has been created with unique applications. And you can actually now have programs um, in Python, in C, um, uh, and, uh, and, and this is be of enormous, enormous value uh, to our student community. Um, all in all, I think that uh, uh, this is yet another step where we are delivering for the people of our country. Uh, and of course, it is a symbol of the level of collaboration and cooperation that occurs between institutions, whether it's Amrita or IIT uh, Bombay. It's not just institutions, but we are seeing individuals rise above themselves and collaborate with each other and with institutions with one aim in mind, that let us make a national effort to make India the nation that it deserves to be. We cannot let history control us. The future is within our grasp. We must, in fact, make sure that we, we are able uh, to use the imagination and use the tools and the innovative capabilities that we have to be able to realize that future. It is not a matter of us dreaming, uh, the dream is becoming a reality, and these are two steps uh, in that reality. I'm also given to understand that uh, we are now in the, uh, you know, 170 centers have been set up, or 168 centers have been set up, and ultimately the aim is to set up about 500 centers, uh, you know, in one go, so that every educational institution 
becomes a center and there should be uh, connectivity with each engineering college wherever it is located in India. This really is the ultimate dream that we are looking at. Yeah, I am now connected to St. Xavier's College in Kanyakumari. Oh. What, a, what a pleasure it is to be with you. Good morning yeah, to everybody. Good morning, sir. We are very Over thankful to you. To you. We, are really, we are really honored to have yeah. an interaction with you. And uh, we really thank uh, the ministry and IIT Bombay for empowering uh, teachers to improve the quality of education to the remote corners of our uh, nation. Really, we are from a remote corner like uh, Kanyakumari, where we can't have access to high-quality education, which is available in IITs and the higher institutions, but through ICT. We thank you, sir. You have made it possible to us. Thank you. I just want to ask, uh, you know, any one of the students can, can respond to it. Um, what is your feeling today sitting there? Do you think that you have a new opportunity at hand and that this is going a long way in actually um, empowering you as you go, go forward as a teacher? I am really happy to attend this uh, workshop because uh, uh, regarding the research, we can understand so many things, uh, how to uh, work on research and uh, how to... Uh, improve our knowledge and um, so this workshop will be very much helpful to us that's what I'm uh, feeling thank you uh, you know I have always felt uh, as a human being that unless I continually uh, empower myself through uh, lifelong learning uh, you know I will I will stop growing um, it, 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 I'm sure that you have all come here with that mindset is that correct uh, can somebody can somebody respond on that do you believe that there should be lifelong learning and these kind of programs uh, should be done on a continuous basis uh, to empower yourself in times to come? Good morning, sir. And uh, we feel that uh, the continuous learning for engineering college teachers is very much important uh, because such type of programs will be very much helpful for us. Even uh, if you want to learn something from the book, it will take so much of time. But when we hear from... Uh, professors like IIT professors, then uh, easily we can grasp and we need this is uh, continue, continual education is very much needed and um, I request you to cont uh, continue such effort in future also, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Uh, sir, it is a uh, pleasure to talk morning, to you, sir. Good morning to you all. Yeah, on behalf of School of Engineering, Ark University, Rajkot, we are heartily thankful to the ministry. <laughs> ministry of HRD for sponsoring uh, the two-week mega workshop on introduction to research methodologies. Sir, on uh, this occasion, Don't I would like to introduce our executive. <laughs> 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 Sir, I would like, like to uh, introduce our executive vice president. Uh, say Dennis Bhai Patel, uh, our registrar Sri Srivalal Bhai Ramani, our Vice Chancellor Dr. Ram Ramamohan Rao, uh, PhD from IISC, uh, Dr. C. D. Sankhar, our Dean School of Engineering, and all the participants, all the hundred participants who are going to participate uh, in this mega workshop on introduction to research methodologies. Uh, sir, uh, we are very much uh, happy with the model and the way the workshop is going to be conducted uh, and uh, we would like to uh, thank uh, to Professor D.B. Patak and his team for making an effort success. Sir, uh, we are very much proud uh, to be a remote center, one of the remote centers uh, where more than 10,000 teachers are participating and taking uh, uh, their knowledge from the uh, expert faculties of IIT Bombay. Uh, sir, uh, thank you very much, sir. And over to you, sir. I just wanted to mention to you that, you know, research in met metrology is, is one of the most important uh, issues that, the, that, that confronts our country because our farmers uh, don't get uh, information on time. Um, and as you know, that the rains seem to have uh, failed us this year, at least in the first month. Um, uh, the expectation is that uh, rainfall will be about 96% today with a margin of error of eight nine percent so if the rainfall is about 90 percent we are in real trouble and therefore we need to constantly inform our farmers uh, out there uh, when the monsoon is going to arrive when they should sow their seed uh, when they should change to another crop so research in met is one of the most important aspects 
uh, that need to be addressed as a nation. And therefore, you teachers out there is participating in this program, are uh, participating in a novel, is a novel initiative uh, of, of, of the ministry uh, to, to empower you uh, in researching the issues relating to the Met. Over to you. Yes, sir. You are uh, very much right, sir. And uh, uh, this kind of workshop will help uh, okay. all the participants uh, to uh, do the quality research and uh, the application-oriented research, sir. Uh, good morning from National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology, Srinagar, Jammu. Sir, we have the privilege of uh, uh, conduct hosting five IST workshops so far. Uh, sir, you I will appreciate that in Srinagar, uh, institutions like IIT and IISC are still a distant uh, dream. But through this workshop, we have uh, got so well connected to adopting the best teaching and learning practices that uh, uh, you know, Professor uh, D.B. Patek has become like, like a household name among the teaching faculty uh, in, in Srinagar. Uh, sir, uh, I'd like to put up a couple of suggestions today. Uh, uh, one of the suggestions would be, sir, uh, so far we have been able to create a larger group uh, which spans over number of institutions. But now it is time to create a, a number of clusters within this group and each institute is associated with a cluster so that we are able to create a manageable unit uh, within this larger group. The immediate advantage would be that there would be better exchange of uh, programs like faculty or on research uh, or uh, which would directly accrue a lot of benefits uh, to the students. Sir, my second suggestion would be at MCIT also, there are uh, very good initiatives which are coming forth uh, under your leadership, sir, especially uh, projects like NKN, uh, projects like uh, uh, National Skill Development Initiatives. I believe we can use such platforms for, for adding, not only adding numbers, but producing quality numbers under our uh, flagship uh, programs. Uh, third thing, sir, uh, uh, we as an institute are still not part of NKN. Uh, formerly, we were DOI ACC, now we are NILIT uh, Srinagar. Uh, we would request your good self, sir, that we should be also brought under uh, NKN. And sometimes we like to host you in Srinagar, sir. Srinagar has a great weather uh, and we have a great tourist season this time. So we are looking forward to sometimes hosting you in Srinagar. Thank you very much, sir. And over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love, I'd love to have some uh, Gustava and Tabak Maaz when I come to Srinagar. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like more delay. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. No, no. I think you have some very good suggestions. I think these should be moved forward through cluster mode. Uh, good morning, sir. This is uh, Dr. Gokhale, Director of VNIT Nagpur. We have been associated with the CD mm -hmm. program of IIT Mumbai for a real long time. VNIT Nagpur is a sister institute of IIT Mumbai and we have been closely associated for past 10 years. And uh, the benefits are for uh, everyone to see. In the 10 years, you know, we have uh, improved our uh, research publications in a great deal. Uh, the research uh, project proposals from uh, various government funding agencies, the uh, faculty receiving their PhDs and so on and so forth. So the benefits are uh, plentiful and uh, this particular effort uh, that uh, has uh, uh, now been uh, firmly rooted into the technical education is a most welcome change. Uh, earlier, you know, the IIT Mumbai was concentrating more on the IT, ITS, but in the recent times, the uh, uh, expansion in the other engineering disciplines has been really creditable and uh, we have about 50 teachers uh, sitting over here for uh, 10 to 15 days and uh, strenuously working towards it. You know. uh, the best part of it is that the teachers are now uh, made to sit as a students you know, in the uh, classroom and uh, rigor in all these uh, programs has been really wonderful because the value addition that the uh, teachers carry with them, you know, when they go back to their uh, colleges is really phenomenal. And we uh, thank uh, you uh, as well as the IID Mumbai for this particular initiative. 
I am uh, basically from IIT Madras, you know, but uh, and I was associated in uh, uh, remote way with the NPTEL program. Now, virtual laboratories also, if could they could be brought in into the foray, then technical education would be uh, significantly improved right across the nooks and corners of our country. We are uh, extremely grateful uh, to you for the continued support in this particular initiative, as well as being a participant, you know, in this particular program. Thank you very much, sir. Good day. Thank you, thank you very much. I think this is this is very important. You know, this this particular program has been very popular because in this in this particular workshop that we are taking up today, I believe there were twelve thousand uh, teachers who registered, and there was not enough space to accommodate twelve thousand. So the that we were able to accommodate, I believe, only nine thousand. So I think, despite the you know, with the with 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 the kind of things that IIT Bombay has been doing over the years by training uh, 1,000 teachers per workshop, uh, we have reached a situation where more and more teachers want to take the benefit of this program. This shows the enormous reach of this program, uh, the empowerment through this program, and how keen teachers are to empower themselves. And this is a very positive sign. And I'm delighted, delighted to be in touch with VNIT Nagpur and be in the midst of you today. So good luck and all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister, for interacting with uh, some of our centers. I am sure that they are excited by your encouraging words. Uh, over to you, sir. Professor Patak, if I may, if I may suggest that I want to hold for the country to see the version two uh, of the Akash, Akash version two, uh, in which you have included. Uh, several applications in which you have included several applications and I congratulate you for it. Uh, uh, this has a, uh, you know, a processor which is 800, 800 megahertz. It has about a much larger battery life. Uh, it has a capacitive screen uh, and it's really a superb product. So I want to symbolically not just show this to the people of the country but also hand it over to you for you in turn to hand this product over to the directors. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister, both for your kind courtesy in interacting with uh, a large number of teachers. As you rightly said, we are privileged and honored to have initiated this program, and we now feel a part of a very large teachers community in this country. More importantly, thank you very much for unveiling Akash 2. A large number of my colleagues here, including research students, undergraduate students, and even summer interns coming from other institutions, have worked very hard for the last three months. As instructed by you, we would now be symbolically handing over these tablets to directors and principals of four select remote centers. As you are all aware, we have planned to use our relationship with all the remote centers to do field testing of these tablets because although we have done a lot of work, there is no end to the number of useful applications that can be continuously developed and more and more useful contents that can be created for this tablet. Towards this end, we wish to use the creative talents of large number of students and teachers across the country from all the engineering colleges. To begin with, we have roped in the support and partnership of our remote center colleges. We believe that after the testing, the tablet production would start sometime by July end or August, but starting with the next academic year, we will be delivering these tablets and working closely with the engineering colleges. I am very proud to announce a partnership with CLAC, who had joined us in this uh, program. Unfortunately, Professor Rajat Muna could not come, but Mr. Zia Sakib is here, the director of uh, Mumbai unit of CLAC. Thank you very much, uh, Zia, for coming here. They are the ones who are helping us in rigorous lab testing of the Akash tablet. As you know, we want to make sure 
that the tablet that reaches the hands of students and teachers works absolutely fine. In cases such as such embedded devices, particularly when it is not a commodity item, but an item made to specifications, it is important to go through such iterative testing to ensure that all the production processes are correctly geared up to produce only the best quality product. Thank you very much, Zia. And through you, I would like to thank Professor Rajat Muna, Professor Avin Kumar, and his team who are helping us in this testing. However, from the samples that we have received and the extraordinary work that has been done by my colleagues here, uh, I would, after this uh, event, I would like to show a small demonstration of a film. But before that, I would like to request uh, Professor Sukhatme, the president of the function, and Professor Devang Khakkar to kindly hand over tablets to the four principals who have come here to receive them on behalf of the minister as instructed by the Honorable Minister. May I now request our friend directors of the partner institutions to come forward and receive these tablets. Professor Sastrabuddhe, Director, College of Engineering, Pune. This is, yeah. this is the Sichankar, Sichankar. This one has Akash on it. Thank you so much, friends, for having come here. And thank you very much for agreeing to collaborate for, uh, with us for the future activities. Just for the benefit of all the participants across the country, I would like to now demonstrate the additional capabilities that have been built by a large team of IIT professors and students. And as I said, some students from other engineering colleges. Uh, in fact, uh, we have the team here, which is the set of people who have built some of these applications. Uh, Professor Sasrabuddha, I think there is one student who is from COEP who is doing internship here. Now, can you say hello to your director? Okay. <laughs> There are, there are people, there are 110 summer interns from all nook and corner of the country. Uh, there are in fact uh, some from VNIT, there are several from our remote centers themselves. Uh, I would also like uh, uh, to pan, uh, can you show Professor Kavi Arya, we will have the robo that you had very briefly seen in Nahush's hand has been designed at IIT Bombay over the last two years in the E-Yantra lab which Professor Kavi Arya leads. And you will soon see a demonstration of how we have made Akash capable of controlling that robo and collecting a video stream from that robo. We have uh, uh, Srikanth is here. Uh, can we show Srikanth and uh, his team? Yes. They are the people who have developed the programming environment on Akash. See, many of us consider Akash or such tablets only to, access, to be access devices. And we forget that these are actually full-fledged computers. To emphasize the fact that these are computers and they can indeed be used at least for learning programming and even running your programs, uh, the team led by Srikanth has been working. In fact, they work with Professor Madhu Bellur and Professor Kannan Mahogalya. And it is curious, uh, uh, Professor Khatman and Professor Khakkar, that the programming environment has not been constructed by project engineers and researchers from CS department, but from chemical engineering department, aerospace department, and, and such place. That merely shows the strength that you have. Uh, so we now have uh, uh, programming capabilities on Akash. There is a team which has been creating interactive lessons. They have created a tool called Proximity. Uh, I would like to show uh, Parak Tiwari and his team. 
this tool permits video lectures to be converted into interactive lessons, so that people can directly jump to a desired theme in a lecture and go to a point of their requirement. Uh, they, we propose to convert most of the NPTEL lectures and these workshop lectures. Incidentally, all the workshop lecture material is released in open source, so that will be easily accessible to people. We also have another killer application called clicker application, which is used for conducting uh, quizzes in, in uh, classes. Uh, there is a team uh, led by uh, Rajesh Kusharkar and others who have created this particular application. I would now like to show a very short movie of six minutes uh, in which we have tried to capture. Uh, please forgive me for very amateurish attempt. This is not a professional film. We just wanted to consolidate and show people at one point. This is the team which designed and developed the proximity application, which was originally meant for desktop publishing of interactive lectures. These lectures now can be seen and heard on Akash. We will now see an application which permits students to see the video recorded lectures. The proximity tool permits editing of video recorded lectures to create interactive lessons. For example, this is one lesson that has been created. I will wrap up the relational algebra section and move on to the SQL language. So, chapter 3 of the book has coverage of this. People can move so over fair amount of content here to any point department in this lecture. Then we can be sure that 3 is exactly the The spoken tutorials created by Professor Kandan's team are also available and accessible on this. The lectures and tutorials that you just heard were stored on the SD card which you can see protruding a little bit from this tablet. It is also possible for this tablet to connect on Wi-Fi to a back-end server and the same lectures can also be heard directly from a server. So here for example is an NPTEL lecture which is located on the back-end server. The Akash is connecting to the server through Wi-Fi. Our team has prepared interactive lessons, so even on this lecture, it is possible to go to any one particular topic directly. In unit two, we will begin to apply these ideas. This is the team which has developed the clicker application on Akash tablet. It is the same team which was involved in the development of original clicker application on the clicker devices which were designed at IIT Bombay. We will now see a demonstration of using clickers for collecting responses from students in a classroom for quizzes which a teacher might pose. This application permits a teacher to conduct a quiz in the class. What you see is the quiz module which is being controlled by the teacher. Clicks here to conduct the quiz. A quiz appears here. The teacher will set a default time for students to answer the quiz and will launch the quiz. When he launches the quiz, the quiz question will be available on the Akash tablet and the student can answer this question by clicking onto the right answer that he thinks is the correct answer. After the time that has been set, all the answers from various Akash tablets in the hands of different students will be collected. And once the quiz time is over, I can view actually the result. 
So, for example, I seem to have answered it correctly because the uh, response says that my answer was correct. Meanwhile, here you can the teacher can see responses from all the students. I have to choose the question number. So, these are the responses that come from different students against their ideas. I can also see a bar chart. Here is a demonstration of the programming environment that has been built by Professor Kannan's team and Professor Madhubellur's team on Akash tablet. In this, we have actually created a Linux environment on top of Akash Android operating system and provide for C programming interface for example. So, here is some sample code the traditional program which when executed prints hello world. Here is the execute button. This will compile that C program and execute it. You can see the hello world coming out as the output. There are many exciting environments such as C++ and Python which have been built, but perhaps the most useful for engineers and scientists is the open source Scilab. Scilab is a tool which is equivalent of the well known industrial product called MATLAB and it is used extensively by engineers. So, here for example, is the code written in Scilab, which when executed will produce a milk dock image. You can actually write the code on the fly and execute it here. We now show an exciting engineering application, where a robo is being controlled by the Akash tablet. The robo itself has been designed in IIT in Professor Kavi Arya's lab. This is the team of summer interns that you see who have programmed the Akash tablet to control the robo as well as to get the video stream coming from the camera mounted on the robo to be displayed on Akash tablet. This is the robo that you see. There is a Wi-Fi camera which is mounted on top. We will now see the operation of this camera and the robo by using the Akash tablet. So, this is the robo control application. As you can see on the Akash tablet, they have given a small control on the right by which the robo can be moved. This moves forward, this moves backward, this can turn the robo left. So, you can see that the control is very refined here and the video stream is being obtained by this Akash tablet using a Wi-Fi connector. I hope you can you can see the potential of this tablet. While the applications that have been built by the large number of teams in IIT Bombay are impressive, I would take all of this to only indicate the possibilities. And these possibilities obviously can be exploited only if a large number of talented researchers, students, teachers across the country work on creating applications and contents which are useful for our own use as the minister said. I would like all of you to appreciate for example, that if the school children in the country have to use tablets like this, then they must be able to use this tablet for educational purposes in their own native tongues. In Gujarati and Tamil they should be able to use those fonts visibly on the Akash tablet, they should be able to create contents. What it means is therefore, there is a huge potential for us to develop targeted applications for all segments of the education. In fact, while our mandate is to empower engineering college teachers and students using this tablet, the ministry has agreed to my proposal that this empowerment will also involve some 20-25 students at each engineering college working on specific application development and content development, which in turn will span the entire educational spectrum. More specifically, we are looking forward to a large number of applications and contents being developed by the talented students of these partner institutions, which will be directly useful for school education in various Indian languages across the country. Uh, 
I think they have a robo set up here. Our young team of interns from other institutions is very keen to show how the robo functions. Can somebody focus on the robo please and see that? Yes. You can see the video stream which is being continuously collected from the robo. Thank you very much young people, let us give them a clap, they have done an excellent job. With this, the last job for me is to offer a vote of thanks. There are just too many people to thank and my job is made doubly difficult because Honorable Minister introduced Akash in addition to the workshop for 10,000 teachers we are doing. These workshops, as you have already heard, are not new. We have been conducting these structured workshops for more than two years. And you heard from some of our partnering institutions that they are very effective. A whole lot of effectiveness of these workshops comes from a large number of people working behind these workshops. To begin with, it is the expert faculty members who offer these workshops, who offer the academic contents of these workshops, who interact constantly with the participating teachers to solve their problems, to enlighten them with their own experience. And I must first thank all the teachers who participate in these workshops as expert faculty from IIT Bombay. Uh, well, there are many, but one particular remark of one of the uh, remote centers, which said that they are glad that these workshops are not computer centric or IT centric. Well, the credit goes to my colleagues from other disciplines in the institute, led by Professor Gaitonde. Uh, can we see Professor Gaitonde here? He offered the first non-computer science program in thermodynamics and that program became so popular. In fact, as the coordinator, I keep looking at the feedback uh, from the participating teachers which we see on the Moodle. And there were several people who started addressing him as God of thermodynamics. Now, that was a unique title. But more importantly, he liked the support system of this workshop so much that he called his colleagues in the mechanical engineering department and said that conducting workshop does not put any additional administrative load on the heads of the participating teachers faculty. Since then, the mechanical engineering department has been contributing to a very large number of conductor workshops under. So, we have had heat transfer for example. We have a coordinator from photovoltaic cell, Professor Chetan Solanki here. Can we see Chetan Solanki? Thank you, Chetan. In fact, we have, we have a number of uh, such. Ah, Professor Sudarshan is here, the database guru of the world, who happens to work for Professor Sandhya. <laughs> In fact, you just saw one of his lectures converted by our tool into interactive lecture session. So, thank you, Professor Sudarshan. I will of course have ample opportunity to thank the faculty members who are participating as experts in this particular workshop. But needless to add, such faculty members make a lot of difference. Over the coming years, it will be our endeavor that we should be exposing to our large number of teachers, not just the expert faculty from IIT Bombay, but expert faculty from all over the country, from any institution. Because all institutions, small or large, have one or two extraordinary people there. And this technology should permit them to address the participants from any place that we have. So, Professor Karmalkar, next time when you talk to our participants, you may not have to come to Bombay. You can do so from IIT Madras itself. The next in line, of course, is a large back-end back team which works tirelessly to make these workshops successful. 
So I would like to just uh, show the glimpse of some of the leaders here. Dr. Mukta Atre, she is the workshop manager. Most of you would be interacting with her. Uh, Mrs. Jaya Gaitundi Jaya is here. Yes, she is the finance minister of the project. It is extremely difficult to spend a single paisa. She makes so many conditions and makes my life miserable, but does manage to conduct the workshops in assigned budget. We have Kalpana. Kalpana Kannan is the in charge of all of our contents. So after the workshop, the contents would go on to this. We have Mahendra behind, who many of you would recognize as the logistics name behind, behind us. Ah, I can see Professor Santosh Narona, who is going to teach in this workshop. But we'll thank you later, Santosh. We have two advisors who have been with us for a very long time. Mr. Avinash Aute, he is also an alumnus of IIT Bombay, ex-TCS. After retiring from TCS, he started doing some social work. I invited him to do social work for these workshops instead. So he has been with us. He handles the entire design and implementation of all back-end systems, all back-end computer systems. We have Prakash Vaidya here. Uh, he has been an expert embedded system designer and in fact he helps us design the earlier uh, uh, clicker systems. But his other passion is proof editing. And if you see the documentation coming out to be in a reasonably good shape, it is because of his extensive proof editing. Uh, while we have a large number of staff members here, next to him is one young lady, Firuza. Firuza, can you raise your hand? Yes. She works as a research associate and concentrates on the correctness of technical documentation. What is remarkable about her is when she was studying in school, she started writing books. So first book on HTML programming she wrote when she was 11th standard. And he has re she has now written, by the time she finished her MSc IT, she has written some six books. They are of course for school and college children, but when she came to me, uh, wanting to join as a programmer, I said you would be better as a technical writer rather than programmer and she has agreed to join. I can tell you, I have just taken this as one sample instance, but I am very proud to say that hundreds of members of my team and all other teams who have worked tirelessly all have this kind of passion and some unique capability which they bring to the table. I just coordinate and take the credit at the end. Uh, we have, of course, we have already seen, okay, now let me, let me come back to the Akash uh, tablet. When we got this project, it was very obvious to us that the most important thing is not the device, but the applications and contents that go with that device. To this end, it was impossible to very quickly develop applications. All of those who have done computer software development, particularly with embedded systems, would know that you can't do miracles overnight. So what I did is I tabbed into the large pool of already done work in the institution. You already seen the glimpses, Professor Kaviaria's work on robotics. This robo control incidentally which the interns were able to do so quickly in six months was done because there is a whole lot of open source control software which Professor Kaviaria's students and researchers have already done and these people could build on top of it. In exactly the same fashion, uh, 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 Professor Prabhu Ramchandra and Professor Madhu Bellur have been working on FOSI for a long time. So the work that they have been doing has culminated into getting the Scilab and other packages here. The proximity work and the clicker work has been going on in the Department of Computer Science for the last two years. We had a meeting in the Department of Computer Science with our faculty colleagues and I am going to conduct such a meeting with the rest of the faculty here. When I invited them to participate, it is amazing how every one of my colleagues in the department said, look, we do this, can this be used in Akash? We do this, can this be done in Akash? That is when I realized that if the same environment is extended to first 168 colleges and then to 500 colleges, where the creative talents of teachers and students can be brought to bear on the further development, there is no reason why all the educational contents that you need for India cannot be created by Indians in India. I want the engineering colleges to spearhead this thing. Last but not the least, I will mention in the context of these applications, the 
spoken tutorial application which was Kannan Mahudgalya himself leads. These are 10 minute video tutorials, but the audio can be in any language. So, these are not video films, these are actually screens which move around like your slides, but the audio is a explanation in any language. So, we construct first a spoken tutorial in English and then we hand it over to other people who can do the translation of English into Hindi, Telugu, Marathi and so on. They conduct these workshops across the country and in fact, we expect the participating teachers in these workshops also to take that forward and ask their students in turn to work towards that direction. I think I can speak endlessly on both the Akash tablet and the workshops, but it is just about 11 o'clock and end of the, the session. So, let me do the thanksgiving at the end for the people who have come all the way from long distances. Professor Sastrabuddha, uh, Professor Chelpa, Professor Topkar, Professor Pandit, thank you very much for coming here. Uh, Professor Zia Sakip, thank you very much for making it to us. All my faculty colleagues, I understand that there are uh, some representatives of the media also who have joined us. Thank you very much for uh, coming at such a short notice. And I must thank my PRO for doing an excellent job because only yesterday evening we got the news from the ministry. Generally, one does not thank one's own close friends and senior colleagues, but I think it is only proper that I thank Professor Sukhatme for sparing time and coming here to preside over this function. Uh, well, I know how much he loves IIT and the work that goes on at IIT Bombay. So, I am sure that if I had not invited as a chief guest, he would have quietly walked in and sat in the corner because he has been supporting our efforts, particularly my efforts for decades here. Professor Devang Khakkar, of course, is our leader and uh, it is under his able guidance that all of us work. I just told you something about Professor Rangan Banerjee's office. In general, the office of Dean R and D, exactly the same thing applies to my director's office. Let me just give you one incidence. When we wanted to rush through the final processing of the purchase order of Akash, uh, there was a certain date before which we had to open the uh, bank guarantee for us to start receiving the tablets in time and some signatures were required as you know in the process. Uh, by the time the file reached the deputy director's office, the office was closed and the deputy director had gone home. And the, some activity had to be done next day, so when I called him, he says, no problem, Fatak, just come home. I went to his home, but my director could sign the file only after his deputy director has seen and signed. So, I called my director. It was already 8 o'clock in the night and you know what my director said? He says, Fatak, whatever time you come, you will find me in my office. That is the greatness of my leadership here, sir, and we are very proud of that. In my own department, when we started working on this large project, Professor Sanyal spent considerable personal time in discussing this with several senior colleagues, helped us to appoint a appropriate purchase committee which could apply its mind. It's not just some senior professors, but people who are experts and, in, and, and give correct advice. Indeed, without this great leadership at the departmental level, at the level of dean and at the level of the director, if we did not have it, believe me, I would say it is impossible for any other institute to complete the purchase process of this magnitude in one month. We were helped tremendously by the administrative departments as well. As I said, no paper ever waited either in the office of the deputy registrar, material management. So, Mr. Borkade is here and his colleague Roy. We have Dr. Ramesh, our deputy registrar, uh, finance and accounts. I do not see Chabukswar. Ah, he is here. He is the auditor. Let me tell you, it is extremely difficult to get past him. He is worse than Jaya, my finance minister. Mr. Borkhade read 1000 pages of documentation overnight in order to ensure that there is not a single squiggle left in the process. We are very thankful to you, sir, for helping us to move ahead with the Akash. And of course, with this great support 
and with the greater support envisaged from my friends in the other engineering institutions, we will take both the Akash and the workshops to greater heights. Thank you so much. Thank you one and all. Please join us for high tea outside this. Thank you.